what I'm doing right now I'm trying to texture paint my model a tiger model with a, an external program um, I select a pose like for uh, for instance uh, this one okay I go and quit edit and uh, uh, my paint uh, shows up I do some settings like this this and I paint on another level oops and uh, I do some changes like for uh, example I do it fast just to to show you uh, the process nope a little smaller and uh, um, I use a multiply to mm, for one reason because uh, the level that actually is uh, linked in Blender is multiply. Um, in Blender, I have, I, I have a setup. I have a setup uh, with different levels. One for the that show me the ambient occlusion of the model okay and one that uh, is uh, blank and uh, is transparent and uh, and uh, is uh, that single one that I'm using right now to paint uh, as you can see there are some artifacts for example those dark line that though will not ap um, appear at the end because I apply only the color not the multiply but uh, I use it as a reference to see where I painted and uh, where I not painted. Mm? I try to make it fast uh, just to give you the idea. Okay. I try to make it fast to give it, you the idea, but I want to add some uh, mm, some difference in the color. Just a second why because uh, uh, anyway uh, the panther is the, the panther the tiger have some uh, some clear parts or oh, then uh, here the result is terrible but you have to consider only this mm? I save it control as I, I go back to, to Blender and uh, just do apply and what I painted in uh, in my paint appears here on the model so how I set up uh, all this uh, all this system first don't wa don't watch this watch only this I have uh, um, a ambient occlusion that I multiplied because to show it better. Okay, and this is the ambient occlusion I pre baked before, and I use it uh, um, um, as a best reference uh, to paint on. Mm? Uh, this um, this level here is a um, is a transparent level, a blank texture that goes in the second color and uh, a and is used as a factor um to uh, to determine uh, the alpha is used as a factor to determine where uh, uh, where should be applied and where should not be applied the material is an emission so i see it as is uh, as it as it is in full uh, uh, full color okay and uh, each one of the, uh, the parts of this body have uh, its own uh, transparent level have to join them all uh, because in this way I can paint uh, f from uh, a sim to another sim for example the leg here have its own uh, blank level the, the the torso have its own blank level the um, the head have its own uh, blank layer sorry not level and um, in this way i can paint directly in um, 
in my paint the texture that gets pro projected on the model it's, imp <coughs> it's important after you you painted uh, you want to continue your uh, your apply from uh, my paint okay but uh, if you just apply over those uh, straight lines uh, um, you see that there was something behind before so uh, mm, after I applied I do a little smoothing a little smear of the, um, of, the of those straight lines uh, just before when I go back to my paint uh, at, uh, at least uh, I have uh, uh, the possibility to have uh, a smoother uh, a smoother mixing of the color it's not very practical but uh, it's the the only way so <laughs> until it's finished uh, it will be full of those uh, of those little uh, smooth thing uh, but it's okay here too uh, and this is kind of hard because it's possible I go to oh no okay I see a blank spot here <laughs> uh, it's difficult uh, when you go to a symptom order because it uh, can happen some artifacts but uh, in the complex uh, looks good uh, looks good and uh, I like it here too you see there are some straight line that don't go well and I fix that too Okay, I guess this is fine, this is not and here yeah it's not good to here probably here okay and in the complex okay okay that works fine and then again I select a view probably uh, this nope this view here okay and uh, I go to quick edit again quick <laughs> my paints open there are four my paints open I, I, I will have to close it of course uh, square box here yeah. don't show the background new layer and the new layer will be multiplied but for now I just apply the color and uh, uh, inside the, the leg uh, there should not be too much color oops why it does not paint because I am not choose the right paint tool okay okay uh, if I go straight this way okay I have pure color but the the, the, the true is that uh, the layer is a multiplier so this is this is actually what I will see uh, and this is why I have to put it in multiply um, until the color is, is isn't very 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 um, not dark intense uh, full I don't know the, the right term uh, you don't get uh, what you want so it's important to pass multiple time I find out that those brushes uh, are actually the best one uh, for paint for and uh, I use uh, this uh, uh, David Roy brush color watercolor fringe um, and the other watercolor are fine too glazing and uh, this one that is uh, expressive uh, what a fringe, what a fringe, I guess. Uh, the, okay, that's this, uh, and that uh, it's useful too because actually, here, uh, Z, actually, here I don't have much color, and I should totally do that. But probably in a bigger way, okay. Nope, I will use that, uh, I think, as better. but I don't like the result so I try to go back to that okay 
you see when I paint I have this uh, little problem uh, what I want to say don't don't look too much at the multiply effect uh, because the multiply effect uh, um, here it shows bad but in the um, in the context of the ply it shows uh, much 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 better okay I want to paint this too because it's supposed to be paint and the problem I is that if I paint too much closer as uh, it probably I will go into the behind you know to the to the text of that is here behind so I have to be very high to really is just to be sure I will smooth it uh, inside inside blender okay so that's our level paint and uh, it's only the he only that as you can see there are some transparency uh, and those will be applied and multiply uh, save go here apply okay I got some results and of course this is gonna go again in the same way so smudge tool smudge tool I'm I have to do it so smudge tool and then go back to my paint to fix that I think that the brushes of my paint are perfect for this kind of fur and gives uh, a, a realistic color a very nice color blending so I keep using this technique uh, even if it looks uh, very very um, very difficult very difficult and very um, here, here I don't like the color here I will have to add some uh, some darker color here okay and totally change this and this okay but you have uh, an idea on uh, how to paint in this way 